Welcome to Sosnovka for a guide too, with me, Mr. Silly P. The Bureau Comfort. That's what I'm going to be having a look at. It's a new mod on the Mod Hub. Um, this was an FS15 tractor that's been converted over with a few changes. Um, some new textures. I think the front attacher, I don't think the original had a front attacher. Uh, so it's now got a three point on the front. If we go into tractors, as I've downloaded it, it's on the end of the list and it says mod. So the Bureau Comfort, that's what we're going to be looking at now. The thing about this and the reason why I've decided to do a kind of um, mod showcase guide to the usual thing I do um, is the amount of options that are available on this tractor as a download and it's amazing. You've got the 613, the 6135A which is 135 horsepower. Uh, so if you look engine setup, the 6135A, you can also have the 6105A which is 100 horsepower. Um, so you've got the two options on horsepower. So I'm going to stick with the high horsepower, that's what I've been doing so far. But then you've got wheel setup and design and there are a ton of options. Um, wheel setup, you've got standard, wide, big wheels, narrow tyres and twins which is a big enough selection anyway. Then you've got design. You've got standard design, which is the colour you get, the kind of the green and the yellow, the mustardy yellow. Uh, you've got a farm tech coloured version, there's a fent green version, an oxide red version, sapphire blue version, a scotty version, and a sepia brown version. So there's your, those are your design colours. But not just content with that, on your wheel setup as well, once you've gone through your setups of your wheels, if you want to match your design with your wheels, you can then go on to a farm tech version in all of the sizes. You can then go on to the Fent in all of the sizes, Oxide Red in all of the sizes, and so on and so forth. So you can match them all up to get the selection you want. So you can mix and match if you wanted to, or you can have you sort of set one you want to look at. So what I'm going to do, I've already purchased them and I've got them lined up here. I've done them all standard to start off with, uh, standard uh, design, but I've changed the wheel type to look at all the different wheel types. So the first one we've got the 6135, the Bura, and that's the standard wheels. Normal width um, and sort of how the tractor is as a standard looking tractor. Uh, when we move on to the next one, we've got the wide tyred version, which is quite nice. I quite like the chunky tyres, always have done, gives it a nice kind of look to it. Um, and then we move on to the big wheels, which is interesting. The tyres are a standard width, but the wheels are bigger. If you look at the diameter of the wheel here, it's bigger than the standard diameter. So they are big wheels. So a standard tyre, but a bigger wheel an interesting look, something a little bit different. Um, and then moving across, one more, we've got our narrows, our row crops. Again, sort of bigger wheel, but the narrow tyres, so that's your narrows. And then on your twins, we go back to the standard wheel size, but you've got your twins. And I have to say, because normally you get twins on the bigger tractors and stuff, it actually looks quite cool on this small tractor. I do like it. It's a, it's a really good look. Just going to jump into this. and start it up. It's not a bad little tractor, I quite like this actually. I don't think on the original on FS15 it had the beacon. I think that's a new new feature. Uh, we've got our lights. He says. And we've got our rears. And then I believe work lights. Yep, work lights as well. So our three options for lights. Turn off. And jump out. So those are your options on your standards. You've got your PTO attachment on there as well. Um, so there's the different sort of wheel tyre classes. Standard, wide, big, narrow and twin. Which is enough of a selection anyway. But then we move on to the options of 
colour schemes, if you want to call it that. And like I say, you can mix and match them if you want to. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. Um, it's an interesting choice. We start off with, and I'm going to turn this way so as not to spoil the surprise, we start off with the FarmTech version. Now what I've done with this, I've gone with the FarmTech design and the FarmTech wheels. They're all standards, I've done them standards, I haven't done them all in various different, you've, you've seen the different tyre options available. I've done this one as standard uh, tyres, but the FarmTech version. So that's your FarmTech colour scheme version for the Bureau. Um, it's it's interesting to have so many different options. It's it's yeah, it's quite cool. Uh, the mod's been done by I forgot to say that at the start. It's um, AMHH and Ho Hoshi. I think it's Hoshi 97. If I'm saying it wrong, I do apologise. Um, I will put it up uh, on the description as well anyway. But AMHH and Hoshi 97. It's a nice conversion over from 15 actually. The sort of tractor I think would be brilliant on the old stream farm. Those kind of things. So that's the first one. That's you, you've got your standard. Then you've got your farm tech. Uh, then we've got the next one over is the Fent Green, kind of the old Fent Green colour. Uh, the tyres, uh, the sort of the wheels are the new Fent Green looking, but the uh, old style Fent colour on the bodywork. But that's your Fent Green version. So Fent Green design and Fent standard wheels. All the features are exactly the same, the lights, the beacon, everything. The tractor's identical, it's just the colour scheme that is different. So, our next option then is the Oxide Red. It's an interesting one. Um, it's kind of a browny sort of colour. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there you go, it's Oxide Red, so that's a different colour scheme for it. I'm sure I got the right one. I'm going to double check something at the end because to me that looks like the sepia brown one. But I'm going to bring the sepia brown one over at the end just to double check it. But anyway, that's your oxide red. Same thing. Put oxide red. Then we've got sapphire blue. Which is exactly what it says in the tin. It's sapphire blue. Um, sapphire blue design. Sapphire blue standard wheels. Sapphire blue Bureau. It gives you a lot more options, so your your tractor is going to end up being more unique. And like I say, if you want to mix and match sapphire blue design with fent wheels, or you know, it would be entirely up to you. Plus, then all the different tyre width options, and you know, makes it quite a an interchangeable tractor. So after sapphire blue, we've then got Scotty, and this one I like a lot. It's got a tartan paint job on it. It's amazing. <laughs> so a tartan paint job, uh, something a little bit different. So this is the Scotty design with the Scotty standard wheels. Uh, that's a nice looking one, that. I quite like that. And then finally we've got sepia brown. Actually looking at that, I think it is different, isn't it? Um, so this is a sepia brown, so you've got like a cream sort of beige colour with a darker chocolate brown. Uh, so standard body, uh, sorry standard body, sepia brown with the sepia brown standard wheels. What I will do is jump into this and very, very quickly stick it next to the oxide red. And there is definitely a difference, but you know, you do it and you think, oh, hang on a minute, I'm not sure if that's right or not. And you can see straight away, yeah, that's a definite brown, that's more of an oxide red, that's a cream colour, and that's, uh, well, not... Mm, Sort of almost like, almost like a salmon pink, really, isn't it? It's an interesting colour. But anyway, that's the Bura mod, the new mod out. All the different options. There's a lot going on that you can do with these tractors. Um, obviously, it's a lower horsepower, 135 horsepower. It's not massive, but like I say, for doing sort of shunting work and things around the yard and the fact now, the only downside is there's no front loader attachment, which would be quite a nice little addition to have on it. Um, but it'll do a few jobs around the farm, and like I say, on the smaller farms, I think that'd be a nice one on the old stream farm, something like that. And there you go, that's it. Quick rundown, quick guide to all the different tyre options and wheel sizes, and then all the different colour schemes and options that are available with the new Bura mod. Hope it's been useful, hope you found it interesting. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, 
thanks for watching.